Well, that's it for me. I'm heading to China now. Okay, see you after New Year. Are you gonna have a party, man? Are you gonna no, have you a party? Are, yeah, yeah. No, I don't have party. No. Because I don't like party. You love partying, man. No. I'm with Yulia. So guys, just showing you the lineup for VAT. And I just got my refund. And you know what the lady said? I asked her, I said, I said, how many people, in percentage wise, how many people are VAT refund? I said, 70% China? She said, no, 99% are Chinese. What are they all buying? I asked the one guy, what are you buying? He goes, oh, I bought some perfume for my girlfriend. What did you get me? Did you get me perfume? Christmas Eve. <laughs> Is Chongqing a destination popular with foreigners? <laughs> Yuli and I are the only foreigners going to Chongqing on Christmas Eve. We're in Chongqing now. Pretty much the only foreigners at the airport. We had an interesting uh, check in here. And I guess the guy just came up from front desk and said that uh, he's gonna change our room, so. We checked in, but then he came up and said the room's too small, so he gave us a bigger room. Right, so apparently they do celebrate Christmas, but they celebrate it kind of like Mardi Gras, New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve, all in one shot. And apparently, uh, at around 11 o'clock, 11.30, all hell is gonna break loose down here. See everybody in black behind me? Well, that's the police getting ready. I don't know what to expect. We just found out about this, so I don't know what we're really getting into. So guys, if anything happens to me, it's Yulia's fault because she wanted to come out and do this. Well, right now, everybody's outnumbered probably about two to one when it comes to police presence. Have you seen a foreigner yet? I'm Alex and I'm here in Chongqing. So how exciting is that? Saturday shopping. This is absolutely insane. That's a wholesale market. And you can buy a coat any size, color, or fashion design. Wow. Very busy. Crazy. Lots of people. If you don't buy anything, it's fun to look around. It's such a shame I don't need any winter clothes in Thailand because there's plenty here. It's very seasonal and I can see why shopping online is so easy now. They, they make it readily available. Maybe it's only for wholesalers. Anyway, it's very, very fun. Yulia has decided to take us to the Irish pub down here. I think it's an Irish pub. The Harp Irish pub, buy one get one free, is closed. So we're gonna have to go and figure this out somewhere else. Oh well, that's too bad. Well, there goes my beer. See a Carlsberg tap ahead. This looks like a restaurant. Not that we wanna get into the toilets too much, but the president, um, Xi, Xi Jinping of China, has called it the toilet revolution. And he has taken upon him to replace a lot of old style toilets all throughout popular cities and popular tourist destinations here in China. And that is a massive mission to replace over 70,000 different locations to upgrade it to more Western standards. And you gotta remember, this is a country that has brought 600 million people out of poverty. It's quite loud here, but that's just how some of these restaurants work. One point I wanted to add to it. Uh, it's the, the suggestion, like what the, what's the suggestions like you think Georgia can do? Okay. Increase its presence. Got it. Oh, okay, here to we go. Promote, promote it to promote. Yeah, it's very good. And also from, because you are a blogger, right? Yeah. You are um, it's coming now, yeah. What was that word again? There's a stereotype. Yeah. Okay, here we go. There's a stereotype in China. And this city here 
if you get the chance or you take the time to discover it, you have never seen anything like this before. There are certain districts, buildings, people, places that I have never seen captured by many travel vloggers and you're going to see them sometimes for the first time on my vlog that uh, I have never seen before. And this is the beauty. This is one of the best kept, maybe until now, best kept secret cities on the planet. I'm just going to show you the Uber version or the Grab version of the Chinese app here. Pretty much you can get around the same way you can get around the US. This is the Chinese version of it. Very cool. Once you get these apps downloaded like WeChat and all that, it's pretty easy to get around, you know? That's just the tough part, getting that SIM card and then, you know, connecting into the back part of the Chinese uh, internet. Once you do that, you shouldn't have too much of a hard time to um, get out there and do the things that you want to do. Once you're on WeChat, SIM card, the city is your destiny after that. It's quite simple to pretty much get around with that. And most people that you meet in city will say to you, oh, do you have, you got WeChat? And you just click and add them as a, uh, as a person to that. So that's that. We're on our way to the onsen and the Ai Chongqing people were so polite to help us out with that. So special thanks to Catherine and Chiao and uh, that's us. Now that we have time to reflect on our interview, what do you think? I don't know, sitting in front of a camera when it's not your own camera is completely different and somebody asking you questions is really different. You could have some people in here that come with a pre-installed uh, vision of what China is and really make it uncomfortable for them, but... Yeah. I'm just telling people what I, I feel. Some of the people might agree with me, some people have this uh, presumption that this is a, you know, a closed uh, community of communist people. And I came here, I put my feet on the ground with you and I didn't experience that at all. At all. I think it's really interesting. Yeah, I think it's very good. It's times the size in New York. Cut. So what did we decide? Yep. Oh really? So no tra no travel guides, huh? No. Okay. No. So where do oh, we... What we could do is just take a taxi. So where is it called? I don't even know how to pronounce it. See, see, see. What's on board? Wow. Ooh, it's a bit more crispy today, isn't it? Oh, my ears are freezing. I brought your camera too. Wow, it's cold out today, guys. Thank you for the fun ride. Thank you for the fun ride. That's okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the fun ride. Thank you. <laughs> wow, he's amazing. Yeah, very amazing driver. <laughs> Well, we're at, what's it called? Shishiko, we're at Shishiko. Shishiko, Shishiko. Shishiko is where we're at right now. I got my gloves on and my bag's open. Here, hang on, hold on. I gotta do up my pants. You can just imagine what it was like hundreds of years ago. If you guys can identify any of this, I'll buy it for you. That one there, that there, that there, that there. It all looks like it's from another planet. So you can name any of these products up here. I'll buy it, buy you one, okay? <laughs> so what would that be? What would that be? And what would that be? Sweet jello. Sweet jello, apparently. And how about that? Oh. Maybe we'll take somebody for tea and they can tell us about Chongqing or wherever they're from in China. You can see how many people are down here. Uh oh, I lost Yulia in this. Oh, there she is. If you hear the term bird a lot, Yuli and I call each other bird. Uh, I'll explain that later on in a video coming up. What do you got here? What are you eating? Beef? Is this beef? It 
It's not this here? That's beef? And that? <laughs> Is it pork? Yeah, the history of this place is apparently four, over 400 years old. No one really lives in this area because the rent is skyrocketing. They've had this is a family run tea house. So, um, hi. You're a celebrity. I don't know. Come in for tea. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Thank you. So they're, they're really. That's what they're formed like. There's no handle on them, as you can see. And they have a little. Um, kind of like a coaster, glass coaster. Maybe I'll go out and take a photo with her. Come on, come on. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Hi. Oh, you want a photo? Okay. <laughs> Well, it's uh, morning here in uh, Chongqing. Uh, the air quality is pretty good and I'm just gonna show you guys outside. Um, the clouds have kind of lifted so you can see the size of this city. It's, it's quite a monster. Um, I haven't been able to figure out the heating yet. And I'm always cold here. As you can see, I'm <laughs> I haven't figured out this heating in this uh, this room yet but I need to get the heat on or I'm gonna die <laughs> uh, let's try that let's try that no let's try that I don't know testing one two testing one two okay good morning everybody I'm heading out again to I'm heading out again in the city of Chongqing so Yulia has told me to get my uh, butt down to the lobby. She's ready to go. I'm always lagging behind looking for something. If you're probably wondering why I wear this hat, I think it says power or something like that. Anyway, we're gonna go down and try out some, uh, try out some hot pot, which is uh, very famous here in Chongqing and get to know some Chinese people around the areas. I'm sure there'll be lots of characters here, so um, let's get ready to go. Yulia's gonna kill me because I'm taking my time and I better speed my butt up. Uh, I think I've got everything. Do I have everything? I think I have everything. I think I do. Yeah. Have I got all my... Oh, man. Sometimes, I tell you, when you're traveling, you just... <laughs> anyway. Oh, I can feel it's frosty. So, how was the alien food? I was grilled meat. It was delicious. I can't do that stuff. It was not probably as fiery as he would normally cook it. He asked me if I can eat chili. Just said a little bit. And it was really good. I took one shot and it, my mouth was on fire. Look at that cafe and bakery straight ahead that's too. Where, well, that's where I bought my breakfast Oh, morning. did you? Yeah. Okay. Adventurous. Oh, you can take picture? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You want to take it? I'll hold the camera. You heard the phone? Coffee. Yeah. Coffee here. Yeah. Good coffee. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So here you make coffee, tea. 
cocktails. Oh, you want a photo? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Wherever we go, we gotta be ready for a photo. Ooh, they make cocktails. It's never too early oh, for a... Uh... He's, he's ready to take a photo of us. Yeah! Hey, bud. Two, three, four. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. Look at this cute bar, huh? You know what I feel like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be at ah. So what is your favorite part of the city? This part? Uh, maybe Hongya Dong. Have you go? Have you been Hongya down? Hongya Cave? Yes, yes, yes. Hongya Cave. Yeah, yesterday. Yes, in the night. It's okay, I think. Easy for you to travel. You speak Chinese. Imagine just me and him. Oh yeah. Very hard. All right. Nobody understand us. Taxi don't want to take us. <laughs> we don't know where we're going. But everybody's been very nice here. We don't know what we're eating. <laughs> and everybody's been so polite to us. Even in my own country, it's not normal for me to come in and everybody says hello. <laughs> If I say hello in my country, they will go, what? <laughs> How's your tea? Tea's very good, very nice owner. He likes taking some nice photos of me. And maybe one day I will get up on the wall. Well, Do you guys mind if I record for our little vlog? It looks like an alcohol test. <laughs> blow into this. So what are you doing tonight, Nancy? It's New Year's. Are you partying? Oh! You do, you, 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 you. Oh, here we go, little English stuff. Okay. And that's my dinner. I'm supposed to like drink it like this. Yeah. Drink there. Oh. I think this is like lemon. You can squirt it in there a little bit, maybe. Okay. What's that on the bottom there? It says on off. Oh, that's a little glow thing. Mm. Oh, it lights up your drink. Lime passion oh, fruit. Oh, oh my god, you could drink a lot of those ones. Oh.